Welcome back. I am Captain Xavier, and I am joined here by this thing. I am the Nerf Curator. Yeah, that's who he is. Uh, we just finished my second Black Friday Goodwill run. I did one last year, did it this year. He joined me about halfway through. It was a very successful video for that. will probably be up tomorrow or, I don't know, 2 o'clock in the morning tonight. Who knows? Um, but uh, stay tuned to that. Loads of good stuff. Lots of fun. Uh, yeah, now we're going to do the Q&A. He's joined me here since it's Friday. I figured, let's do the Q&A together. So we're going to go through the Q&A, and then we're going to open packages, because I've got loads of packages today. It's fabulous. Okay, so first question. Bipedal Narwhale. What do you do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Well, there are many, many uh, various views on this. Um, uh, put him in the longboat till he's sober. Uh, put him in the hold with the hose pipe on him. Uh, make him kiss the gunner's daughter. Make uh, Put him in bed with the captain's daughter. Uh, put him at the wheel of an Exxon freighter. That's a popular one. <laughs> Jedi Leader 01. Hey, Cap, do you think an electro staff is scientifically possible? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Cool Cat 27. How long did it take you to learn to play that song in the beginning? Uh, just a couple of minutes. I'm actually uh, very good at picking up tunes on the penny whistle and just being able to, to, to whistle it out. Uh, getting it right every time is a little bit trickier because I don't actually know how to read penny whistle music. I just know, know it by ear. The Nerf Neko. Uh, is it possible we can get a look at your computer setup, please? I've, I watch my Meet the Geek video. I show my computer in there. Uh, and other than that, uh, a drunken sailor. What uh, other sea shanty can you play on that little uh, flute? It's a. It's actually an Irish penny whistle, and uh, I had one somewhere, a really nice one that I got in Ireland. That one I got online. Um, and uh, there's a whole bunch of different songs. I don't know the names of most of them, honestly. I know um, "Farewell and Adieu," uh, Spanish Ladies, I think, is the actual song. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of other fun ones. Uh, the theme to Jurassic Park. Ooh, I'd like uh, to hear that one. The song from Princess Bride. Mm. Um, Tourlou, or Patapan. I can play Patapan. Uh, mm. A bunch of others. I don't actually know the name, too. Just tunes. What about the, Who has seen the wind? Neither you nor I. There you go. Look at them, they're beautiful. What are those? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I know some stuff. The Green Messer, for Q&A. Do you have a favorite hand cannon revolver? And if so, did it become your, or how did it become your favorite? Please see this. I read all my comments, so the police sees this as necessary. Um, probably the Desert Eagle, if I'm going to be honest. Or actually, really, the actual hand cannon. The original um, match-lit small cannon that you literally held under your arm and, and fired it off. That is where that term came from. Uh, and I actually have, have fired one. I have fired a genuine hand cannon. That's insane. Um, and they're, they're, they're a lot of fun, because you just have a burning bit of match that you just touch into the, the touch hole. And it's this little cannon that's about that long. Just a tube on a stick that you hold crooked under your arm and boom, primitive as heck. Lovely. Leon Bulger, question for Q&A. Have you ever played Just Cause 1, 2, or 3? Nope. I have. He awesome. Has. Awesome. Uh, if so, which is your favorite and why? Uh, well, I personally like Just Cause 1, but then they fixed a lot of the, the stupid uh, physics that were having problems in 2. So um, 3, eh, it's alright. I like the physics better in 2. Uh, Dracon 5700. Is the no drinking a religious thing? No. Lieutenant Felix, Captain, is it possible to make a flywheel high power Vulcan and put a stock attachment point? Yes. Uh, my friend Lance has actually done at least two of the uh, flywheel Vulcans. Um, and he put, he didn't put an attachment point on it, he put a um, deploy stock on it. But you, you could do a, a stock attachment point just as easily. Just cut off the original handle mm -hmm. um, and put that on there. And then you'd need to put a new handle somewhere else. He put a Maverick handle underneath so it was more like mm -hmm. an M60 uh, and was gorgeous. Um, and then it uses the original firing mechanism to fire the darts out of the belt into the flywheels. So it does still use it. And so it still has that satisfying recoil action. Yeah. Um, but is now flywheel powered so it's actually a viable blaster. And it's Fabulous. Uh, Quidarius Gooch. 
Could you link the dump pouch? Yeah, I did in the, the, re the most recent review video that I put out, I think, yesterday. Brian Kersey. Thoughts on the Mega Tri-Break? And what Nerf Blaster would you suggest for post-apocalyptic cosplay LARP? Um, the Tri-Break looks neat. I'm really wondering about the whole breaking action, because as far as I could tell, it does absolutely nothing but cosmetic. Because it looks like it's rear prime. Yeah. So it looks like... A, a waste? I don't know. I have to actually see one in person. I generally don't do speculative reviews because I couldn't tell you what I think of it. I've never touched it, never seen it fired, never used it. And until I have, I, I, I've got no opinion, really. Um, I have an opinion. You have an opinion? What is your opinion? I want to try it out. Well, yes. <laughs> What's your opinion? I want one. I want Why? One. Because it's Nerf and I don't have it? That's his requirement for wanting a Nerf blaster. Okay. And that's a perfectly... <laughs> Um, for post-apocalyptic LARP, um, well, it depends on the rule set, honestly, because you can take any Nerf Blaster and make it look post-apocalyptic with a paint job and gluing random scraps to the side of it. Um, so depending on what the rule set is in the LARP, um, for just about anything, I'm going to recommend an Alpha Trooper because it's just a solid platform, uh, or a Strife, assuming they allow flywheel blasters, which some do, some don't. Um, oh, and now the, um... Uh, the Busby, um, they call it the new Alpha, the, the, uh, what's it called? The, the, the red one, I just put a K26 in, and so did, uh, Jose. No what? idea. What you, what you it, just like the Alpha Trooper, but it's Busby. Oh, yeah, the Thermal Hunter. Thermal Hunter. Thank yeah, you. Thermal Hunter's a good option, too, because yeah. you can get those in the store. Well, you actually, you can get Alpha Troopers right now, but they're only at Kohl's, and they're expensive, except for the little sale they had where they were 16 bucks for an Alpha Trooper. I got one. Nice. All right. Travis Sheet. When are you going to get around to the rival musket idea? Oh, it's somewhere on the list, but it is a really long list. So what? Somebody actually designed a a musket that fires rival rounds. Okay. And you actually load it like a musket. So you use a ramrod to push down the priming handle, to the, the plunger, and then you put the rival <laughs> round in and you <laughs> ram the, the rival and That's it just, just fires. That's awesome. And they, they made a pair of them. They had a pistol and a rifle and they looked gorgeous and I want them. But it is really low on the list because I have nowhere to use that, really. That's freaking cool, though, for, like... You know we like to do stupid stuff at our wars. That would be fun. Have a round of... Primitive. Primitive rounds. <laughs> Nothing but bows and muzzle loaders. <laughs> KL-1104. Have you ever played either the tuba or the baritone? And if so, do you even know what the baritone horn is? I have never played either the tuba or the baritone, and I am familiar with the baritone. It's a small tuba. Not too unlike the euphonium, except the euphonium's bell is bent forward, if I remember correctly. RZ Ryder. Do you think modders will be undermounting Kronoses when they come out, similar to what they do with the Magnus? Yeah, of course. Uh, especially on rival blasters, because they would then fire the same ammunition, which would be fantastic. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if you see them undermounted on like a Nemesis or um, a Zeus or something. You have to put a barrel on it. Or alternatively, they'll mount it on dart blasters so that you have two different kinds of ammo. Because a lot of games, different ammo does different stuff. Mm -hmm. So, Nibri. Hi, Captain. For Q and A, I am looking to build a long-range sniper long strike, something that could hit targets accurately. Uh, beyond 10 to 20 feet, you can throw a dart that far. Uh, FPS limits notwithstanding, what mods would you suggest? Would HPA, LPA be a consideration? Uh, the most common long strike sniper build I've seen is an XBZ. You put an XBZ in there, the pump comes out the back, and you pump it up, and then you can still make it bolt action and still take a magazine even, uh, if you mount it correctly. And uh, that's actually what I want to do eventually with a long strike, is put an XBZ in it and make it then reverse bolt um, so you have a long brass barrel or mm -hmm. pet G barrel or something um, but yeah a full brass breech on an XBZ and then you pump it from behind or um, you could quite easily build some sort of a stock for it or do you know an external pump that pumps in pumps your air tank up um, that's also something I want to get but uh, yeah there, the long strike is a good platform as long as you don't try to make it a springer uh, because it's reverse plunger. They do make a kit that completely replaces the internals with a direct plunger. And it's um, sold out right now. So. Yeah, but you're never going to get as much power as you would out of an XBZ that's yeah. brass breached. So that, that would be my recommendation. 8. Dot, no. Have you ever considered doing a pistol-only loadout? Yes. In fact, I have done pistol-only loadouts, and they're fun. I want to do an all-rebel pistol loadout. All painted in my colors, and then 
two of each one on a vest with lots and lots of holsters, like the Duke from the Boondock Saints. Yes. Because Billy Connolly is my favorite person in the world. Uh, um, can you please say that line he says right before you shoot all of us? Which one? The the one where they... The, the, the prayer? The prayer. Yeah, he, oh, yeah. Oh, man. Let me see. I'd have to learn it. And do it in the, get the accent. In, in an Irish accent. In action. Colton Franks, Cap. I've just completed making a rapier. I'm very curious why it's in quotes. Uh... <laughs> Uh, what are your thoughts on them? I have several of them. Uh, I used to fence both rapier and um, foil and epee. Um, never did much in the way of saber, but I've done a little bit of it. Um, I like rapiers. They're they're a gentleman. Well, they're not actually weren't necessarily a gentleman's weapon, but um, they're fun just because I enjoyed fencing so much. And the way the group that I fought in, you could have you know a rapier in one hand and then all sorts of other things. For the longest time, I fenced with a rapier and a paddle, oh, wow. a small boat paddle. Because my character was a pirate, so it was fitting to have a paddle, and it actually made for an excellent blocking weapon. Oh wow! Because you had the handle coming down that you could catch blades with, and then yeah. you had an actual you know shield kind of thing yeah. that I actually got good enough I could catch people's blades, even though they got big rubber tips on them. But you yeah. poom and catch it, and then you've got complete control of their blade and you <laughs> stab them. Um, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> John Lewis, do you have tips for fencing? Yeah, uh, don't get stabbed and stab the other guy. The pointy end goes in the other man. Um, <laughs> Fencing is something that you have to train at. It, um, it takes years of training to get good at it, and it takes repetitive practice. Uh, drill, 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 drill. Learn how to do a lunge properly. Practice it until you know how to do a lunge exactly correctly, and then do a thousand lunges a week. Just wow. lunge. Lunge on your way to the, to the kitchen to grab a drink. Lunge your way back to the, the seat. Lunge everywhere. Um, just It's something you have to learn to do, because the footwork needs to become... Second nature, completely instinctive. It needs to be as if you were walking um, so that you can focus on everything else. Your footwork needs to just happen. Uh, and that takes muscle memory, which takes repetitive practice. Um, and as my fencing instructor, Norm Pendergraf, would say, um, practice does not make perfect. Practice makes permanent. If you practice wrong, you will then always do it wrong. Wow. So learn to do it right That's and deep. always practice it correctly. Um, and always practice... As if you were actually in a fight. So don't just kind of eh, sloppily, yeah, that's how it's going to be. No, do it properly every single time. Um, so that you can, your brain only knows how to do it right. Um, how dare you? I'm filming. Do you? <clears throat> no respect. No respect. That's what I get. Dragon Blaster 10,000. Do you think a full-length K-26 has enough power to fire a demolisher rocket with decent range such as 10 to 15 feet? Yeah, um, I actually got 30 feet out of a demolisher rocket firing it off of a dual strike. So a full-length K-26, if I were to make, say, a, a barrel attachment for my Caliburn that took a K that could take a demolisher rocket, yeah, I'd fire it beautifully. Mm -hmm. So if you made a homemade, like my, uh, my, I think my crossbow has a full K-26 are pretty close to a full K-26 in it. And it doesn't have the the long barrel that's permanently attached to the caliber does. I can I can thread on my demolisher barrel directly onto the end of my crossbow. And yeah, it'll fire them beautifully. Mm. Barry Orgar. Captain? My captain. My niece just turned three years old. Is there a Nerf gun I could get her as a gift that she could safely use? Uh, a Maverick? I don't know if a three-year-old could prime a Maverick. Um, it's still dangerous. They're, I don't think the, the age is like, I think it's eight and up or six and up, one of the two. That's kind of young. Any of the single shots, as long as you didn't modify them, uh, wouldn't be too bad. A night finder probably at this point would have so poor performance. Um, well, they can shoot 25 feet and if some little one shoots in another one's eyes, that could knock it out. Eye protection is very, uh, very key. Um, I can't think of anything. The snap fire, but they're not going to be able to prime it. <laughs> That's really going to be the issue, is getting a blaster that they can prime. I mean, you could probably go with a barricade if you put bad batteries in it. Uh, that's what we generally gave the really little kids at the Nerf Wars I used to run, is we'd just give them a barricade and let them go. Yeah. Um, and they, they wouldn't even notice when they ran out of ammo. They couldn't tell and they couldn't care. They just click, 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 click. Well done, kid. Well done. That's a, that's a tough one because no. <laughs> Next part of that question And how am I going to convince her mom, my sister uh, That this is a good idea <laughs> Not I got nothing um, uh, First convince a child to wear eye protection all yeah. the time Eye protection then is going to be the key the other stuff. Uh, Yeah 
DJ Player King, how do we spell your name? Like, my real name or my my channel name? Because my channel name is up at the top. And my real name is in the description of every single video I have ever uploaded. So... Yeah, and what was that guy who was saying that I was saying your name wrong? You were pronouncing it Xavier, which is actually how I used to pronounce it. Okay. As opposed to just Xavier. Yeah. Um, and the actual original pronunciation, the French pronunciation, is Xavier. Oh, really? So there's lots of different ways to pronounce it. And you were using the one that I used for about 15 years. Oh, okay. Because when I did it in Medieval Recreation, I spelled it um, E apostrophe X-A-V-I-E-R. So it was Xavier. Mm -hmm. um, and then the standard American pronunciation is just Xavier. The French pronunciation is Xavier. Mm. So... I like know. Xavier. It sounds cool. Exactly. And that's why I spelled it that way. And it was also it was based on the old the original fr uh, French spelling, which was E-T-A-B-I-E-R. Mm. So, so it's like if I didn't say it wrong. Uh, Calvin Alaband Gamble. That is an awesome name. Captain, what if you took the AR from a crossfire or persuader and extended it so it could hold demolisher rockets? There is no way either of those are going to have enough power to fire a demolisher. The crossfire is reverse plunger, uh, and the persuader is hammer prime. They have very small uh, pistons, so no, they're never going to have enough air pressure to actually fire a demolisher rocket. More than I doubt they could even get it off the post, much less. <laughs> Blurry face. can you make a mod guide for a stampede, or at least a walkthrough? Uh, another one? I'm pretty sure I've done several. Yeah. Orc at War 98, what is your favorite time period? Uh, currently, I, I really like the current one, because uh, I haven't died of dysentery yet. <laughs> and there are root beer and Legos and cheese and stuff. Um, for studying, I'm a big fan of Rome, ancient Rome. Uh, as well as a lot of the medieval era and the renaissance. Pretty much, I just like history. There isn't one time period that I, l I loved more than anyone other. You? History? What's your favorite era in history? Um, the time where we weren't slaves. I like this one. It's good. Yeah, that, that's a big one. Um, it's usually Caucasians that like the older times because everybody of color was pretty much running or hiding or slavery. So. Well, if you go back I mean, ancient Rome... There was a lot of Half of my people were was, enslaved yeah, by the other half yeah, of was, my people, because I'm French and Italian. Yeah. So the Gauls were constantly saving the Romans, and the Romans were enslaving the 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 Gauls. Uh -huh. uh, but that was 2,000 years ago. So. I like the time where there's no slave. That's the time I like. Uh, there has never been a point in human history, I don't think, we where there were... We, oh, there's more now than there were back then. What? Yeah, check out the Middle East. It's a horrible place. Mm. Yeah, there's... They, they think there's more slaves... That Right now, there are more slaves than there's ever been in history. God. Yeah. I'm humans go, I, humans I like are them. horrible people. All right. Enough questions. Uh, feel free to put more. Uh, I'm, I've taken all of next week off, so there's going to be lots of videos coming out. I'm going to try to catch up on all of my stuff. <laughs> what? Ah! Jesus. I'm going to beat him about the head and shoulders with a hammer. Um, so loud. That's why you wear the padded hood over the top of it. <laughs> You were not cut out for medieval warfare. Right? <sighs> anyway, yes, I'm taking all of next week off, so I'll hopefully be getting lots of stuff done, lots of builds, uh, get my shop clean, tinker with all sorts of things, finish up the last of the reviews, I need to get that uh, gear up Retalicon built and put the metal kit in my crimson one. Um, it's going to be lovely. Um... Yeah, so, I may have a guest next week, but I don't know who it would be. So, if you have any questions, if you want more questions, go ahead and put them in the comments of here. Um, do put a question mark on it so I can tell that they're questions. And uh, we're going to get to the swag, of which there is a great amount, and I'm really excited to see what it is, because I don't know. So, booty! Alright, I have six packages and three little envelope things. Some of them I know what they are, and others I haven't a clue, and that's always really exciting. So, we're going to start with the little one. This, I have no idea what's in here, and it weighs nothing, so... Hopefully I'm not going to destroy it by cutting it. It's a small bag of Legos. Yes. Fairly random Legos. Axes, spears, dynamite, Ninja. hard hats, throwing stars, cups, a gun, a buzzsaw, a harpoon... Cool. No note, of course. Probably Sparky Santos, but I can't confirm that. Sparky, if this is from you, let me know. If it's not from you, let me know who it is from. Let me know! Alright. This one feels like a book. 
because I want to know what it is. <laughs> Somebody sent me the French edition of the Silmarillion. What? That is amazing. I did not know there was a French version of the Silmarillion. This will force me to finally get better at my French. Eliut Eru, le premier, qu'un ardeur, un appel illuvateur. Il crée d'abord le renard, le bannis. Quel vengeur de la pensée. That is fantastic. Thank you. Whoever sent this, this is absolutely awesome. And that cover art is strange and interesting. I love it. I will have to brush up on my French just so I can read this because I, I read the Silver Early, reread the Silver Early in every year. Brian's over here doing Tai Chi now. It's warming up, man. It's cold. <laughs> All right, next tiny package. This one was from Foam Liberty Design. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Yes, flywheels. I put out a call because I needed flywheels because I had run out of flywheels uh, on a project, and so I needed um, rival flywheels, and he sent me two pairs. Hopefully, this will be enough. Stay tuned. That's awesome. All right. Something from Amazon. I don't know, but I don't think it's for me. Captain, this one is actually for your sister. Every animal has a winter coat, so now she has one too in snow, camo, Nathan Talesian, <laughs> and wife. That's awesome. That is awesome. Um, it, it, it's some sort of a tiger. Yeah, I think it's, it's probably a tiger cute. hat That's so to go cute. with her, the one that she has. I will get this to her. I'll be seeing her at Christmas for sure, and I'll be getting her all the things that people have been sending her, which is pretty awesome. She will be stoked. Uh, thank you so much, Nathan and wife. Yep. <laughs> you hear that? Yep. <laughs> All right. Bubbles. I'm going to give them bubbles. Ooh, what that? It appears to be a hat. Uh, Captain Xavier, every officer needs a proper cover, and if you want to pass muster, hope it, this one fits. Nathan Talesian and wife. What did I get? A little bit big. No. But just a hair. It's is an Imperial that... officer hat. Oh, yes. Dang. This is awesome. It's maybe oh, a half a size big. Oh man, that's um, sick. Oh. But I I should be able to uh put in some um elastic yeah. in the back and tighten it up. So that that is that's that amazing. is awesome. Thank you so much. This this oh, is becoming part of my 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 kit. That is Needs a little, oh, are you need, going to put the symbol? Oh, yes. I'll probably put some, just, <laughs> I might just put Velcro on so I can put pat, my Imperial patch on yeah. it. Yeah. That is fantastic, you guys. That is awesome. That is so cool. Oh, Dang, that's... I should get you my, I think, I don't know if I ever got them my actual head size. It'd probably be useful given how many hats they send me. Um, sweet. You guys spoil me so much and I love it. <laughs> you have some of the best fans. Right? I have the coolest hats. I'm wearing this all day now. Another one. No idea what's in it. Um. Also, Nathan, remind me what it was, the parts that you needed. I know it was a deploy, two deploy stocks and the handles, and there was another thing. Ping me again and remind me, and I will hunt them down while I'm cleaning this week. Oh, man. Ooh. Captain Xavier, we were going to get this for Christmas, but then found it on sale. Guess uh, we need a new Christmas gift. Early Christmas gifts are fine. Um, oh, and the novel is from us, too. Thank you. I, I kind of figured this somewhere earlier. <laughs> so it's the Lac de Triomphe. Oh, that's... We, my friend and I were just looking at this in the Lego store earlier this week, and I, I thought it was really, really cool, and he was noting that how solid the construction was and all of that and so yeah um i have one of these i have the um the willis tower it used to be the sears tower mm -hmm. which i've actually been on the top of my father's from chicago oh, so wow. uh, i have been there and that is that is going to be fun my friend will be thoroughly jealous Lac de triomphe. 
ordered by Napoleon in 1806 to honor his Grand Army, the Lac de Triomphe, was finally completed in 1836 and remains one of Paris's iconic landmarks. Condé par Napoléon en 1806 pour l'honneur la Grande Armée, l'Arc de Triomphe, fut final terminé en uh, 1836. I, I can't do the, the numbers. Et <laughs> demeure uh, une des monuments emblématiques de Paris. I assume that one's Spanish, but I don't speak Spanish, so... That is awesome! Thank you! Um... I will probably wrap it and save it for Christmas, just for the sake of it all. This is really cool. Okay, which one next? This one? Alright. This is one that has me curious. This is from a J.J. Neal Jr. And I really have no idea what's in here. Whoa, no, that's not a Raven Fire. No. <laughs> <laughs> but there's something in there. What is that? <laughs> Random Dark Pistol. But here's the one that's going to make up. you... This one, you're gonna plot. Okay. Are you ready to plot? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, they did the die technique. That's so cool. In McCullough's. I like it. Yes. What else is in here? Oh, you know that's interesting. Aha! The note. Imperial greetings, Captain. In clothes, you will find a clear orange maverick and a challenge. My challenge is for you to make the maverick direct plunger without removing the slide functionality. Bonus points if you can make it semi-auto or one-hand primable, as uh, I hope, as hopefully that would make it viable for one of your loadouts. This is perfectly viable, sir. The Maverick is a staple of the Nerf community. To assist this, I have included a strong arm internal, so you won't have to sacrifice one of your own, a void caster, and some um, no-name Walmart plinker. I am also curious to see if the latter two blaster uh, would be able to take a K-26. I will, of course, test them now that I have them, even if my money on either of them not being able to take it uh, upgrades. Below, I have also included my contact information for anyone you wish to recommend my services to, and if you ask why you're tagging rebel scum um, out with a clear orange maverick, you can tell them that it's for the love of nerf and for the glory of the Empire. Hope to face you on the battlefield someday. The Foam Mandalorian, JJ. Nice. I will have his contact information down in the um, description. But yeah, he can do Mavericks in any color you want. Uh, and he was gracious enough to give me an orange one because that is, of course, my color. Let's see what else is in here. There is, in fact, and I have yet to actually see one of these in person. If I can get it out. The Voidcaster, which is kind of like the Snapfire 8, but it has four AR barrels, and you just squeeze the prime, and it's I good. It actually shoots halfway decent. Oh, yeah? That's what I heard. It'd be really hard to aim, though, because... But the, I mean, it would be a matter of technique. And some internals. Oh, and the, uh... Ah! It actually has the... The clip and darts for that thing. Nice. So that is very cool. This is beautiful. I love this. I love and, it. And um, uh, making a Maverick direct fire. I think that would be possible. It is. I think it would definitely be possible. All right. Now we have a package from a Joshua Slagle. I sense nerds. Feel the burn. There's a box. Ooh, he sent me a box. There are Legos. Uh-oh. There are Legos. Uh-oh. Loose from the box. All right, we have Legos. And... Ooh, Ooh. aha! Flywheel cage, nice. which I needed. Skittles! Oh my god. He heard my call. My Skittles were eaten by alley rats. <laughs> Nuh-uh. <And>, yes. <laughs> alley rats got in. You know that five-pound bag? They made off with almost the end, like at least half the bag. No. So somewhere there are a bunch of dead diabetic rats, and they had it coming. Um... <laughs> But now I have replacement Skittles, which is awesome. And, ooh, oh, the bag is ruptured. There's apparently um, a U-Wing, the mini scale U-Wing. Hopefully all the parts are still in here. I think they will be. I don't think they've gone too far. 
So that is cool. I uh, I needed flywheels, and like I said, I put a call out, and a bunch of people responded. So I now should have enough flywheels and cages and all that to finish my project. I will keep the skittles safe this time. Need to get around to murdering those alley rats. <laughs> Thank you very much for the Legos and for the parts and for the Skittles. You can never have too many Skittles. Okay, final package from Ryan Egglestead, who is awesome, and his family. And they are also, I will be getting stuff for them for Christmas. Nice. Uh, or finishing, building stuff that I've been trying to get finished for them for... Oh yeah, what do you want for Christmas? Uh, a pony. I got it. Done. All right, let's see what they have sent me. Captain Xavier, good morning, afternoon, evening. I hope the day finds you well. It was. Uh, when out thrifting, finding Legos can be hard, and when found, it comes down to condition. Many times, uh, they are as desirable as old crushed streamlines. But sometimes, you are lucky. <laughs> so, not only was I able to find new Legos, but uh, on kids' day, when every new toy are half price. Mm. Now... Of course, they are all the same, and I am not even sure how the video game part of it works, but price per Lego uh, could not be beat. I'm sending one uh, on in package, but opening the others to save for shipping space. Uh, the result of the long letter is an eagle envoy for your castle, or worst case, um, for cool parts. Uh, additional Lego are enclosed... One with a holy bag and a... Ah, childhood. Uh, continue to enjoy the videos. Uh, your friend, and always look forward to the next one. Your friend, Ryan, Michelle, Greta, and Gabe. Well, I'm super, super stoked to see what's in here now. <gasps> Legos in the back! Legos! The holy bag. They're my childhood. I loved tearing them open. Okay! But uh, these I can just leave in and fondle it in my spare time. All right, we have some sort of eagle dude. <laughs> Chima. Chima eagle dude. Yes. I think I have the monkey dude and a wolf dude now as well. Nice. So, uh, oh, they sent a minifig in a package. And uh, oh. here's the one in the box oh. with the armor. I like the armor on the torso. I mean, nothing else. I can create something with that. Mm -hmm. And then apparently... Okay. It's the same thing, just a whole bunch of them. Oh, wow. So I have a whole army of eagle dudes. That which is, is amazing. Right? That is totally cool. Oh, they're using the wolverine claws as feet for the eagle thingy. Wow. That is pretty absolutely wicked. I love that, that axe that he's got. Mm -hmm. I have a whole bunch of those. I can like give one to my dwarves and oh, these guys are in armor and stuff. Sweet! Awesome! awesome. As always, okay. <laughs> And as always, we must open the minifig. Uh, let's see. The werewolf would be cool. The musketeer would be cool. Um. 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 um I want that one. The scientist? I want the scientist. I actually do want one of those because I want to do a, a crazy <laughs> adventure in my my uh, castle city. In fact, I recently evicted the gypsy so I'd have room to build that <laughs> building because uh, I'm a horrible person. Oh, right. It's such a nice person. <laughs> right, I am. It's the musketeer. You got the musketeer. I got nice. the musketeer. Sweet. Oh, you're lucky. I love his hat. A that reminds me of you. Hat. Why? It, because it, because in that used to be your profile picture. Pretty much. I think it still is actually. Yes. This is going to be a left-handed musketeer because I said so. Um. Ah, they got. Hmm, I, I doubt that Lego would know this kind of historical random detail, but they have the uh, the flip up on the hat on the wrong side. Oh. It should be on the right side because it was flipped up so that you could hold your pike on that side of the hat. And oh. there are no left-handed pikemen, but apparently this is a left-handed pikeman, which I dig. Or a left-handed musketeer, anyway. Um, yeah, I'll have to get him a musket because they they were actually musketeers. They were supposed to have I have muskets. Muskets. I do too. Oh, lots of them. That is cool! I have a musket here. I love that you. hat. I just wanted to know I have muskets. Okay, just get, you can have them. All right. As always, just loads of awesome stuff. You guys spoil me so much. So much Lego. It's in the bathroom. 
Here's little eagle dude. That'll get being. Those will get built in um, in the near future. Bing. This will probably be saved until, like I said, Christmas because that is just worthy of going under the tree. That's awesome. Um, yeah, this one is going up next Christmas to my set. Gear Up Maverick. What? We have Christmas. I'll be going to the gnome. Idaho. Oh, sweet. Can yeah. I come with you? No. Aww. All right. Thank you guys so much. Um, like I said, there's going to be a lot of fun stuff going on this week. I'm going to be cleaning and then building all sorts of stuff, getting lots of projects caught up on. It is going to be fantastic. I've got 3D printed parts coming in. I've got custom parts coming in. I bought myself some really cool toys that will probably be here in the next couple of days. Nice. Um, I will be posting the Black Friday video that uh, the curator was with for me. Um, his... Uh, contact information will, or his channel will be down in the description. Check out his stuff. He's been pumping out a lot of cool contact lately. Uh, him and uh, Luchathor have been collaborating on a lot of stuff, and they've got some really weird and really neat stuff. Um, and you will occasionally see me in the background of his videos being a complete goon. Uh, so that's worth looking into. So the Nerf Curator, check out his stuff. And uh, any comments, questions, concerns, things you want to hear in next week's um, Q and A. Put them in the uh, in the comments down below. And as always, thank you for watching. Take that! Ah. Ah. <laughs> I'll just go. Oh. Ah! I got it. Thank you for watching. <laughs>